In this video, I'll demonstrate how to get a simple main effect for a two by two factorial ANOVA using SPSS version number 28. It was kind of frustrating over the years that the previous versions of SPSS did not have the capability directly of getting a simple main effect in this type of an analysis. Instead, what you had to do is you had to go in and edit the syntax um, in a you know, in a somewhat obscure way, if you're not comfortable with editing syntax, and this I think prevented a lot of people from actually doing this particular type of analysis. Fortunately, the new version of SPSS, version 28, has the capacity to run a simple main effect test uh, when you have a two by two factorial ANOVA or larger, but I'll keep it simple with a two by two. So I'll show you how to do this. Uh, first, let's get oriented to the data. You can see that I've got this um, very rudimentary two by two structured design. I've got two different main effects, or rather I should say two different uh, independent variables. You can see that in the columns, I've arranged psychotherapy. Some of these people are on a wait list and you can see that I've got some scores. Each score represents one person. Higher scores represent better adjustment on whatever the dependent variable is. It's all hypothetical. So um, that particular person, this first one, has a score of three, four, five, and so on. So if you look at this first column, there are six people in the wait list for psychotherapy. Whereas in the second column, there are six people who are currently receiving or have received treatment using psychotherapy. Now, the second main effect is drugs. What type of drug isn't specified here? Again, it's hypothetical. If you look at the row, these six people are receiving no, no drugs. They're in the control group. So pres presumably they're getting a, a placebo. And in the second row, you see that they have drugs. So these six people have received their drug treatment. Now, uh, before I get on to the uh, simple main effect, uh, let's take a look at the data, data structure in SPSS. You can see that I've got it set up already. And again, this is version number 28 of SPSS. Um, I've uh, arranged the drug variable here with two being receiving the drug, one being receiving a placebo, and uh, similarly for psychotherapy, a one is the wait list and two is uh, actually receive the uh, intervention. Now, if we toggle over here to view and value labels, we can see the different uh, interventions being used. So this last group, this uh, last set of three, these are the people who received both treatments. And you can see that their scores are quite high. Whereas the first set of three people, they are on the wait list for psychotherapy and they are in the placebo uh, portion of the control uh, drug trial. And you have to, um, in order to do a factorial ANOVA, you have to arrange the data like this. Uh, Crosshatch pattern with ones and twos corresponding with ones, twos, ones, twos. And uh, let's just uh, uh, run the analysis real quick, getting the general linear model uh, function. Let me reset it so that we do it from scratch. I take my two different independent variables, put them under fixed factors, and adjustment goes here. And the very first thing that I want to do is I want to get the mean square error or mean square within, because I'm going to use that in my formula for the simple effects test that I've got in my scratch pad. So I run it, and you can see this is just a very basic analysis. Font size is a little bit small here. Here's the mean square within, also known as the mean square error. And we're going to use this number in the simple effects test uh, to do it by formula. And then I'll show you how to do it in SPSS. So if I go back to my Word document, 
you can see I've got the formula set up, and this is just a very basic formula to craft a simple effects t-test for any different comparison that you might want to do within a larger design. So I'm interested in the simple effect, the simple main effect of drugs when psychotherapy is absent. And this is going to give me basically a t-test for the uh, effect of drugs, but I get the benefit of the mean square within, the mean square within, which is 2.5. And uh, that capitalizes on the fact that you've got the variability from all the people in the study. And this is the, uh, this is the formula that's going to be used by SPSS. Well, a variation of it because it gives you an F-test result. But we can get the F-test by simply taking this number uh, and squaring it. So um, I plugged in the values that I want, the mean of the drug group, that's six. The mean of the uh, control group is four. By the way, the inset uh, characters here, the zero is for the control group, P is for drugs, P is for psychotherapy alone, and PD is for psychotherapy and drugs. Okay, so I've got my simple main effect calculated using the formula. And I want to demonstrate in uh, SPSS that we can get the same thing. So we go to Analyze, General Linear Model, Univariate, and then go to Estimated Marginal Means. And uh, take your uh, interaction term, bring it over, compare simple main effects. You just have to uh, leave it on LSD none. That's the default. Actually, before I run it, let's take a look at the output. Because the, uh, the interaction term here is significant. Well, it's, or it's 0.06, so a near miss. But had you uh, encountered a significant uh, interaction effect, then you'd want to take a look at the simple main effects. In any case, we may be interested just in the effect of drugs because we don't want that psychotherapy component contaminating uh, what we're measuring for the drugs. So uh, let's go back to the uh, analyze function, general linear model, univariate, estimated marginal means, take your interaction, put it over here, and then click compare simple main effects. This is new. This did not used to be there uh, as recently as version 26. I don't know. I never had version 27, so I don't know if it was there in 27. I think it's new to version 28. Hit continue. And notice that we don't have to go into the syntax, uh, which you'd get uh, using the paste button. Just click OK. Now we have our uh, generic ANOVA summary table here. And then underneath, we have some more uh, uh, additional stuff. And you can see that it, it gives us something new here, the univariate test. So we want to be able to pick this apart. Now, first, we have the simple main effect of psychotherapy. And you can see that that value is 0. And if we go back to the document, it should make sense why. Because uh, the simple main effect of psychotherapy is what you get when the drugs are not being applied. And the mean of this group is four, the mean of this group is four. So that pairwise comparison simple effects test, that simple main effect of psychotherapy when drugs are absent, actually gives you a value of zero. But that's not the one that we want. We want the simple main effect of drugs when psychotherapy is absent. So if the psychotherapy simple main effect was zero, you know we're really more interested in this case in the simple main effect of drugs when psychotherapy is absent. In other words, these comparisons, uh, six versus four in the, uh, in the means. So now let's go back to the output, scroll a little bit further down. And you can see the uh, simple main effect for drugs 
when psychotherapy is withheld, it has an F test result of 2.4. And if we go back to, uh, well, let's take the square root of, of this. If we take the calculator, take the square root of 2.4, the answer that we get is 1.549. And let's go back to the page. There's the answer, 1.549. So we have a direct match between the computation using the formula and the computation using the function in SPSS. The important thing here is that you know which one you're looking at, that this one is the simple main effect of drugs, whereas this one up here, hear that? This one right here is the simple main effect of psychotherapy. So I hope that's helpful. Uh, thanks for watching.